Hey, hey guys, Ron here once again. Just wanted to do a quick video because uh, my Thinkorswim platform lately has been giving me issues. And one of the reasons is just the memory because uh, it's definitely not my internet because I definitely maxed this puppy out. So I'm trying to figure out what it is and I did find it. It's basically the memory. And even though the platform asked me constantly to update it, um, I guess I got to set it and set it fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and max that out for myself. You may want to play around with this because obviously you are using other applications uh, and see what actually ends up working best. So you don't want to maximize this and then slow it, everything else down. So you definitely want to test this out. I am going to max it out and see how this does for me, but this is where you would do it. So basically right before you log in, you can go ahead and set this up so that you can uh, have more memory available for your trading. And that's pretty much it for this part. On the second part I'm going to show you is how to make sure that you're getting up to the second, no delay, real-time quotes. And let's go ahead and check that out right now. All right. So now that we are logged in, uh, one cool feature that I found that, you know, I actually never paid attention to was if you go over here to your setup and you go to application settings, uh, once your menu pops up here, you'll notice something really cool here when you go over under systems. And that is that your quote speed is not automatically set to uh, no delay. It's actually set to moderate, max delay, three seconds. So you can do max delay one second or you can do real time no delay uh, here. I mean, this is honestly, guys, um, you know, it may not make much of a difference to your trading style to see the one second because you're probably not trading in a matter of seconds. But this is where you would set that. I do want to test it out because there are certain things in the open that I do want to see a little bit faster. But if it doesn't really make any much difference on my trading, I'll probably just leave this alone. But as you can see here, uh, real time no delay or fast, max delay one second. I'll try no delay and see how that works out for a little bit. Uh, and again, uh, that's pretty much it. So now that I bumped up my memory and I bumped up my real quotes to real time, now I want to see if my charts start loading a little bit faster than they have been because I definitely have a lot of speed on my internet. So this delay on my charts loading up in the morning was giving me a real, uh, annoying me really uh, a lot because it was kind of an, um, taking forever to load, especially when we're doing these calls in the morning. So as you can see here, it does seem to be working a little bit faster. We'll see how it does tomorrow on the call when I am running uh, the call at the same time. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. I just wanted to show you guys how to bump up your memory and make sure you're getting up to the second no delay quotes. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for those of you who are not already subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.